Bomb. Hello everyone, it's Drew Ryder here, and I'm back with another Search and Destroy Tips and Tricks video. I think the last one, I don't know what happened, some boxes might have gotten away or something, but it got like 20 views or something like that, so I thought I'd do another one. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing. I have got 19 kills, but this time I lost, which was sort of depressing. And this is actually the second time this has happened, where I've dropped 19 kills and then I've still lost the game in Search and Destroy. And I don't really know how that's possible. I guess my teammates were just that incompetent. I should mention this was on 420, so that's probably why they were so incompetent. Um, but anyway, I'll get into it. This class is a extreme conditioning, quick draw, dead silence, PP90 silenced. And it's a good class for search. I mean, I would always recommend the extreme conditioning, assassin, dead silence, P90 rapid fire. That's my favorite class of all time for search and destroy. Uh, and especially, you, you never know when you should be running Assassin in like the first round or something like that, because sometimes what happens is you'll just get portable radar in the first round and then you know, but by that point you've sort of lost your rhythm and you can't really get back into the game as much as you could have if you had gotten some kills in the first round. So, I think, weirdly in this, I only get one ace, and it is a seven round game, yes, it goes to overtime, and then uh, I get killed without getting a kill in the final round, which was sort of sad, but, I mean, one thing, a couple things I can give for hints, first of all, you will notice in this game, there were a couple of occasions where I got stunned and mated out of my mind, but I was able to survive it, and that's mainly because I just ran away from the engagement, or just stood where I stood my ground, did not try to rush sort of while being stunned or going into like another engagement where I'm already injured and you never really want to do that. Uh, another thing I use to my advantage is Predator Missiles. I got like four Predator Missiles this game I think. I think one from Care Package, a Care Package, and then three otherwise. I think something like that. But anyway right here I get taken out by some MP9 ridiculous aim so bad that I just had really bad reaction time. Uh, but another thing you will have noticed about this video is that it has portions that are sped up, and that's because, as you know, I've got this new video editing software. If you watched my last video, which isn't up yet, uh, but it will be by the time you watch this one, so yeah. But this one, this one will probably go up on Tuesday, so happy Tuesday, everyone. This, but yeah, I've got this new video editing software, and I can fast forward my videos again, but Another thing I should mention is now you see I'm using a scar, and I was using a scar this entire prestige basically. I got a gold by like level 60 or something like that, and it it's just it's a solid gun. The only problem with it is the ACR is obviously better. The ACR or the Type 95, both considered I'd say the strongest assault rifles in the game. If you like a burst weapon, you use Type 95. If you like an automatic, you use the ACR. But I beg you, don't use either of them, because I honestly, yesterday I was playing for a good four hours, I think I played yesterday, and I got, it was so frustrating, because every single person was using an ACR, and FMG9 Akimbo's an assassin, and all, and it's like, come on, just play, like, how do people have fun doing that? But anyway, right here you'll notice that the, uh, the bomb is right there in front of me, and then that guy calls it a predator missile, so he knows that I know where the bomb is. So I just sort of camped it out in a corner that wasn't the corner where I was when he called him the Predator Missile, and I took him out because I just sort of noticed him running past there. I guess you could say that was sort of convenience and luck, but oh well. And then right here is probably the most intense calling in of a care package at the beginning of Search and Destroy Round ever. I think I get a total of four kills in like ten seconds, so first the double pred, obviously. Then this guy with the USAS, and I assume Extreme Conditioning, rushes our spawn because you can run forever with a USAS in extreme conditioning. And I kill him, because I get pretty lucky he hit marked with me with the USAS, which has the slowest rate of fire of any automatic gun in the game. But then, uh, I think my teammates take out the last guy, yeah. So we, we should win this game, right? No. Uh, oh, but I should mention, the reason I switched to the SCAR is because I saw they were calling in a care package, and usually if someone's calling in a care package, they're also calling in a UAV. That's my sort of experience anyway, that especially given its search, people who run 345 are more common, and uh, yeah, I don't know what those two guys are doing, but people that run 345 are more common, so you'll see people call in like a care package, then a predator missile, then a UAV, that's what I do anyway, and right here I get taken out by an ACR, 
this guy cross-eyed, actually. It was quite a funny story. The next game, he dropped 19 kills that he lost, which was really, I thought that was really entertaining. And he, he's, like, game battles, like, going all ACR, red dot, quick draw, try hard. But, like, you know, that's for another day. Oh, yeah, also, do you guys like the game battles matches? They seem to get, they seem to get a lot of views, so... Let me know if I should keep doing those. I personally really like playing game battles. I haven't gotten to do it in a while, but I do enjoy it. Right here, sadly, I wish I could have cracked 20 kills. I've only done it once in Search ever, and it's on this game, but sadly I get taken out. And then this guy, Robbie, who some of you might remember from a previous video, it gets the final kill with a Desert Eagle. But anyway, that's the end of the game. Hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you later.